Hi, welcome back. I'm excited to do this tag. I was tagged by Catherine of Catherine's Life, and this tag was started by a different Kathy of Kathy Beauty Care Chats. Kathy's original video was um, called Top 10 Healthy Habits Tag Beauty, Health, and Household Habits. I went ahead and made my list um, from the one that Catherine did, and that is Top 10 Healthy Habits, Beauty, Health, and Lifestyle. So it's going to be slightly different. Both of these women are wonderful. You should go watch their videos. Kathy of Kathy Beauty Care Chats is so vivacious. She's just bubbly. She gives you energy. She is just a ball of fire. And then Catherine is just this amazingly serene, sweet, genuine, um, comforting, really kind person to watch. So let me get started on my top 10. The first one is sunscreen. I grew up in Southern California. I was one of those very pale girls who tried to get tan like all the other tanned girls. And I would get so much sun that I would blister. My back would blister, my chest would blister. So I do have a lot of sun damage. And probably I would say from 40, 38 years old to 40, I started seriously using sunscreen every single day. Rain, snow, if I'm inside all day, I use it on my face and on my body. So I'm happy that I'm finally doing that. Number two is I walk. I walk just about every day, either inside or outside, depending on the weather. I prefer walking outside because that really gives me a boost of energy. But I do have a treadmill. And also recently I found this new YouTube channel, new to me, YouTube channel, um, Leslie Sansone. I'll list it up here and link it down below. It's kind of fun. She has walks that range from a mile to three or four miles. I've done at the most a three mile walk. She also has ones where you can use hand weights, um, resistant bands, things like that. So anyway, that's kind of fun, but I do, I walk every day. I need to do more strength training, but at least I am doing the walking. Number three, number three is water. I do love my water. I drink a lot of water. I'm not a soda girl, so that is a healthy habit that I do keep up. Okay, so number four, I'm having a hard time with explaining. I filmed it a few times and what it is, is that I have tendencies towards perfectionism. I will um, get on myself if everything isn't really clean, um, if my weight is a little too high, if I haven't worked out that day, if I haven't called somebody that I need to call. I just get after myself over the smallest things in my head and I have learned recently in the last couple years that I need to tell myself that it is okay to let some of these, these things go for a period of time, that it is okay, that all is right with the world, that I don't need to be perfect. So I hope that that helps some of you. It has really been helpful to me and I hope that I get even better at it. Number five is that I eat little to no sugar. Usually I have some sugar because I like dark chocolate. You've seen in some of my favorites videos that I include <laughs> chocolate bars and things like that, but I do like my bit of dark chocolate every day, but that's about it. Unless I'm having an alcoholic drink, that's about all the sugar that I want. So I try really hard to limit my sugar to little or no. And then number six are vitamins. I take a multivitamin every day. I take a calcium magnesium supplement every day. And then I also take this, which is lysine, every day or every other day because I have a tendency to get cold sores. I'll get them a couple times a year. Sometimes I get them more frequently than that. And they are so distressing. They just are so embarrassing and they last for a while and I can get them like on my bottom lip and I can also get them around my nose, which is absolutely the worst. Those of you who get it, 50% of the population has cold sores, can get cold sores. So this is super helpful. It reduces the time that they last and I think it has reduced to frequency as well. So then number seven would be clutter. I am really good about picking up 
things every day. The house may not be like super, super clean. You know, I'm not into really washing the floors that often, things like that, but I cannot rest and have a lot of peace if I don't pick things up. So I tend to pick things up and put them in their place most every single day, just so that I have a clutter-free environment. So I believe that that is a really good habit to have. Number eight is saying I love you to somebody every day, your husband, your children, your friends, your family. It is so important to tell people that you love them and it is so good to hear that you are loved, right? So I think that is a really heart healthy, emotion um, healthy, spiritual, soulful, healthy habit to have to tell people that you love them. Then number nine is I am addicted to breakfast smoothies every morning. I use almond milk and um, this cacao. I use the cacao powder as well as these nibs. They're high in magnesium and antioxidants. And I throw in my whole foods collagen. And what else? I put in banana and cherries, blueberries, raspberries, strawberries. I am addicted. I love to start my day with one of those healthy breakfast smoothies. So that's a healthy habit I have. And then the last one that I have is something that I am so happy that I have. I think there are a lot of you out there that have this in you as well, but I just would um, encourage you to support it. I love childlike things. I love whimsical things. I love Disney and I love Star Wars. <laughs> I'm quite the nerd. I love Lord of the Rings. I love Harry Potter. I like to go to the Disney parks. I like to enjoy those childlike things with my family. And so um, I think that whimsy and that just childish way of enjoying life and believing in magical things, you know, or just, just um, having fun and being geeky is just a really <laughs> healthy habit to have. So. Those are my habits. Hope you enjoyed and got to know me a little bit better. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.